Fourteen years after his daughter disappeared, a Kettering father is still looking for answers. Good evening. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Mark Allen. Erica Baker would now be 22 years old. She vanished on this day back in 1999. On the left is what she looked like then. On the right, an age-progressed photo of what she might look like at age 18. Anthony Kiko is live with how her father is making sure Erica is never forgotten in our top story at 11. Erica Baker was last seen here at the Kettering Rec Center. This area was searched and searched again. Authorities declared her dead, but no body, leaving her father wondering what happened to his little girl. He did not want to go here. Erica Baker was nine years old the last time her father saw her. That's the only memory I have of her at that point. You know, it stops. You know, I can't even fathom what she would be at 22. Thirteen years after Erica's disappearance, her father is still searching for closure. The reason why I'm here in front of you today is because that, you know, I want to maintain a promise that I made to her 13 years ago that I would never stop digging. The community hasn't stopped digging either. And there are still volunteers out there today that I know of that are still searching for her. Christian Gabriel was in the van that hit Erica and killed her. He and his friends then disposed of the body. Gabriel spent six years in prison, convicted of abusing Erica's corpse, but her body was never found. I know he had a, a, a small child that was getting ready to be born when he went in to serve his six years. And um, he got a little taste of not being able to hold his child. You know, I haven't held my child in 13 years. Some of Erica's family members met with Gabriel when he was released last October, hoping to find out what happened to her body. Unfortunately, he didn't remember very much, and he said he was very sorry. However, sorry isn't what Erica's father wants to hear. In my heart, I know that he knows where she's at. But until everyone knows where Erica is at, her father says he'll keep searching for her. The only thing that I can say, baby, is Teddy's trying, and he's trying hard. You know, I'm, I'm still going to keep going at this every year until we can find some closure for you and your family. Nyerka's father says he'd also like to speak with Gabriel about what happened, but doubts that he'd be able to remain calm if the two met. Now, if you have any information about this story, call Kettering Police at 296-2555. Reporting live, Anthony Kiko, 2 News.